Been a little more than a year since we've been to the one and only Charlotte Motor Speedway here in Concord, North Carolina for race 3 out of 10 in the second campaign of the Moneyline Cup Series. 36 of the nation's best drivers have come here to the fastest one and a half mile on the schedule, three distinct lanes to be some crazy racing here today. And as always, head on down below the video and check to see if you are if you have liked it and have subscribed as it helps YouTube recommend this content to more people and helps me make more of it. Thank you to all those who are. We've had a crazy start so far this season with two Fords taking home the wins. First, it was Ryan Priest at Daytona and Chris Busher last week after an arduous battle with the 22 machine to take it home for Prosper, Texas. Speaking of the man, he's starting 14th today. He won last week at the Nashville Super Speedway. He's buried a bit in the field, but he is hoping that he can take that 17 Ford Fastenal machine to the front. Martin Truex Jr., he's starting on the pole today. Bulls also very fast in practice, riding the outside lane better than anyone else could. Watch for him to try and stay up front all day long. Slowski's had a great start of drop fives, two in a row to start the season. He would like to make it three here today at Charlotte. And finally, Bubba Wallace, he's starting ninth. He had some trouble in practice, but set a blistering pace in qualifying. The 23 machine has shown a lot of promise, so we're just going to see if he can make his way to the front of the field. And now that's out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at your starting grid for today's race at Charlotte. In row number one is Martin Truex Jr. next to Brian Kozlowski on the outside. And Hendrick duo Kyle Larson, Alex Bowman in row two, Tyler Reddick and Ryan Blaney in row three. Kyle Busch and William Byron in row four, and Chase Elliott and Bubba Wallace will make up row five. Joey Logano and Denny Hamlin in row 6, Chris Buescher and Ross Chastain in row 7. Chris Rebell and Daniel Suarez make up a row 8, and Ty Gibbs and Eric Jones in row 9. They got two Ford, Chase Briscoe and Michael McDowell in row 10, then Austin Dillon and Josh Berry making his first start in row 11. Then Jonathan Arnimacek and Ryan Pre consecutive numbers in row 12, then Eric Amarol and Jimmy Johnson make another start in row 13. Austin Cintrick and Harrison Burton in row 14, and Spire teammates Carson Hosevar and Corey LaJoy in row 15. Then a rookie spin out and next to Riley Herbst, and the rounding out your field today will be Alexander Rossi and Sakaz Grala. Now that that is out of the way, the field, they're ready to get rolling here. They will begin their pace laps here at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. It's going to be 10 laps around this very tricky one and a half uh, mile quad oval multi group surface. It's going to be a very interesting race. It's very hot and slick outside, and there's many lanes to choose from. It's Martin Truex Jr. and Brad Keselowski in the front row. Out in turns number four. Through the gears we go. It's going to be Martin Truex Jr. and Brad Keselowski, Bowman and Larson behind them. Out in turns number four. We are green here at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. Heading in turns number four for the first time today. It's Martin Truex Jr. leading the charge, but Brad Keselowski, he's going to stay firm on the outside of the 19 machine. Down the back straightaway, everyone still side by side. Heading into the Charlotte Motor Speedway, turn number three. Martin Truex Jr., he's going to clear the six of Brad Keselowski. Crossover back to the inside lane. Brad Keselowski is going to lead lap number one. Heading out of the trial this time in turns number one, some side drafting going on. It's Martin Truex Jr. all the way on the outside lane running that as he did in practice all day. It worked great for him yesterday. We'll see what he can do today. Oh, here comes Ryan Bellane. He's going to send them three wide down the back straightaway. Tyler right on the outside lane. He can't hang on for much longer. He's going to fall back. It's now just a battle of the fourth between the five of Kyle Larson and the 12 of Blaney. Side by side, Kyle Larson still with the edge. Can he clear him heading turns number one? Yes, he will. He gets way loose heading in the corner. Manages to keep it out of the wall. That's going to give Blaney the easy spot as we go on board with the five machine. Trying to draw back even to the back bumper, but the 12 will continue to pull away. We're going to get a nice fly-by shot on the full field. The top five are single file. First battle between 23-11 teammates, 4-6. As you can see some three wide battles for the back and back. Oh, John Hunter needs to check around. He's hard back in the wall. Bins back into traffic. McDowell hits him going through the grass. Setting back into traffic once again. And Dylan trying to avoid. He's going to get picked up in the mayhem. He's hard in the outside walls. A three car incident here on lap number four to bring out the first caution of the day. 
With this three-car incident, it will bring out the earliest caution so far this season. John Hernemichek, uh, the man right there, was the one who originated the whole thing. A lot of dirt on McDowell's bumper. You can see he left a big trail uh, heading onto the racetrack. Let's take a look at the replay here. You can see John Hernemichek in between Chris Busch and Daniel Suarez. Looks like he just got loose. And, oh, man, huge hit. Interesting physics as he bounces back into the 34, who went for an absolute ride and Austin Dillon looked like he was trying to avoid and uh, found nothing but an outside wall turning left. Taking a look at it here, just got way loose off the corner. He was running very competitively and, oh man, that is a rough way to start your NASCAR career. Look at uh, Michael McDowell going for a ride and then Austin Dillon uh, once again will DNF. Uh, Michael McDowell, he had a very strong start of the season so far. He was ninth in points. I doubt that result will stay. We'll take a look at it one more time. John Hunter Niechek, bang. Not the way you want to start out your career. And, uh, wow. A lot of dirt kicked up on the 34's grill. And Austin Dillon, once again, unlucky and involved in an incident early. Well, Michael McDowell is going to head to the garage. And so will the other two drivers. Um, big dirt trail still on the track kind of funny to see but everyone's in the garage and we're ready to get back racing it is Martin Truex Jr. and Brad Keselowski on the front row and out it turns number four through the gears Martin Truex Jr. leads us back green here at Charlotte oh he gets bumped from behind the 12 gonna show the 19 he's spinning the grass the 12 around as well it's the big one here in the Charlotte Motor Speedway a heavy impact for the 19 machine Blaney also involved Kyle Busch Kyle Larson, both Kyles, Ross Chastain, and Tyler Reddick. It's a humongous, a ginormous, uh, I think six cards. And you can see Kyle Larson on top of the 45. What transpired here? And let's take a look at the replay, and you can see the 12 was just trying to push Truex, not trying to wreck him, just to push him in a vicious hit. Huge hit for the 19 machine. Same for the 12 machine when he came back up the track. See here, just a push gone wrong. And bang. Look at Kyle Larson ending up on top of the 45 machine. Wow. 19 heavy impact in the wall. And as I said previously, Ryan Blaney looks like he tried to slow down and got rear-ended by the 23 machine. And went for an absolute ride. Same for both Kyles and... Ross Chastain, the metal man, also went hard. All cars will be returned to the garage early and not the way they wanted to end their day. However, the rest of the field has been re-racked, reset. It's going to be Brad Keselowski and Bubba Wallace on the front row. Then Hendrick teammates Byron and Bo behind. We are back green here at Charlotte. Heading in for number three and four to dead heat. Heading in the corner. Here comes Byron. Some contact made. The six down to Neverland. He's going to take Bowman with him. Side by side, the 24, the 23, side by side, down the back straightaway, it's a duel heading in turns three. How about Chase Elliott going from seventh to third on the restart? William Byron and Bubba Wallace, neither side clear the other. Byron with the advantage, but he can't quite clear the 23 machine as we head into turns one this time. Oh, will he be able to clear him? Yes, he will. William Byron's here in front is Chase Elliott. Runs Joey Logano way up the racetrack. It's not going to matter as he flies past the 23, the 9, going to follow suit. Heading turn number 3, Byron running the double yellow, uh, double white line. It's in a way up the race jacket, two car battle now. Make it three, here comes Chase Elliott. Legato good to shove down the paint, into the grass, past the grass, point two, will it work? No, huge hit, all four tires off the ground. It's a hellacious smashing into the air, almost flipping for the 9 of Chase Elliott. Your caution has been brought out here on lap number 8 to set up an overtime restart after some beef with the 22, and there's going to be a bit of a talking to. And the two drivers clearly anger with each other. No fight. Tempers overflowing. Take a look at it here. And the 9, oh, he just tried to pass him. Logano gave him no room, and oh my, oh my word. Huge wreck for the nine machine of chase elliott and as we take another look at it here wow this will most certainly result into a talking to you by moneyline cup series oh my gosh this will result into a talking to as joey logano is being called to the infield hauler 
after he gets checked at the carousel. And we'll, we're, uh, we will take a look at this one more time. Chase Lily trying to make a move and inexcusable behavior by the 22 machine. That is how you get someone injured. And NASCAR officials, MLCS officials, they're, they're not going to let that slide. Both cars heading to the garage. And a rough day for both of them in the camp. But this is going to set up an overtime finish as this race still has to go on. It's William Byron and Bubba Wallace behind them. We have Alex Bowen and Ty Gibbs. And through the gears they go. It's William Byron leading us back here to Charlotte for overtime. Heading into turns one and two. Byron with a big jump. Wallace trying to fly in. And Alex Bowen just going to disappear through the middle lane. They're three wide in the back. Here comes Daniel Suarez. Where did he come from? To the inside of Brian William Byron. He's going to clear him heading in the corner. Washes up trying to clear him. Cross the move. Here comes William Byron. Not going to let that slide. Side by side. Here comes Christopher Bell. White flag in the air. Byron clear the field. But here comes Christopher Bell. Going to draw even with him heading into turns number one and two for the final time today. Daniel Suarez trailing right behind. But it's a two car battle. Two horses battling down the back straight away. Now Byron down the back straight. He's going to have more momentum. They're side by side, heading in turns three for the final time today. Byron on the outside. Bell, he doesn't have enough. Out of turns number four, William Byron will take home his first ever Money Line Cup Series win. And you can see the rest of the field crossing the line. But William Byron takes home the win. Let's take a look at the replay. You can see him just in front of Bell. Where did he come from? Where did Suarez come from? Heading in, it turns one and two. And you can see Bell. He drove back even, but he could not clear the 24 of William Byron. And you can see Daniel Suarez. He was out of it at this point. And down the back straightaway, that's where the 24 machine made most of his that. Most of his progress, and see, just in turns four, the 20 just was beat on the outside lane, and that will lead to William Byron getting his first ever Money Line Cup Series win. Good finishes all around, but William Byron, the star of the show, gets to burn it down in front of the home of NASCAR. And a wonderful race for the 24 of William Byron and the entire field besides the, the Medi who wrecked out. Let's take a look at your results for today. Of course, we have William Byron on top, then Chris Arell coming in a close second. Then what a day for Daniel Suarez and Ty Gibbs. Uh, really closing at the end to get a top 5 finish. Eric Jones rounds out the top 10, top 5 there, sorry. He's had a great season so far as we move on to the second graphic. Uh, lots of big names here, but you can see just the, all the drivers who wrecked out here. Uh, Elliot, Logano, Blaney, Truex, Bush, Reddick, Larson wrecked out in all three races. going to be a rough day for them. Now let's go ahead and take a look at your point standings. Daniel Suarez in first, then Eric Jones, Brad Keselowski, and Ty Gibbs. Bowman rolling around at your top five there. Byron in ninth with a win today. And as we flip to the other graphic, you can see... Uh, a lot of drivers down here, but most importantly, Martin Truex Jr. down here, Kyle Busch, Ryan Blaney, and Tyler Reddick. Play on our last graphic day, you can see Kyle Larson all the way in with only 7 points. Rough season for them. We'll see you next week at the Charlotte Roll for this version. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Hope you all enjoyed, and we'll see you next week at the Charlotte Roll.